What I'm going to do today, I'm going to prime it. Um, should you put mud in the um, bumper? Your thing bumper? No. You shouldn't. But, you know, that's how it's done over here. I didn't realize, it's weird how if you have a little damage, well, before it's like this. You'd be looking at it, and you know, you'll see like a little dinger here, and you think, oh, that's, that's all there is. Well, I need to start investigating more. I need to spray it with black pri black primer and sand it because I would have if I would have known there was damage here, here, a little low spot here and here and here and here, I would have pulled more of the fender out. Um, I didn't because all I seen was that, and I seen that, and I felt a little something there. And I didn't see all. I don't know why, because I guess I wasn't looking that close because I'm in a hurry because this car's got to be done in two weeks because it's already sold. Anyway, um, I already showed in some, I got a lot of uploads, a lot of videos, but I'm not even going to upload it. But maybe somebody can tell me what's wrong with this because I don't know. I'm not a mechanic. Don't claim to be one in real life or... YouTube or anything else, but we got a vibration in this car when it's running. Don't get why. Okay, usually I notice that, I mean, on cars that have a vibration, it is the tack will jump. This tack don't jump. You can feel it in the steering wheel. So it's coming from the motor. Why? I don't know. Um, this is a weird thing. I'll show you when it goes away. When you get about right there, it's still got a vibration. Right there, the vibration goes away, or it, it mellows out a little bit. So I was thinking, I don't know. Looking around, I'm not a fucking mechanic. I replace this because I see it. There's a tension because it, it, it was jumping around. But anyway, you, you feel. A, uh, I'll show you what I'm saying. This commercial break. Yeah, he ain't showing you shit. See, it's just got a slight vibration. Um. It ain't gonna sell like that. And in order to get to the spark plugs, shit, where are they at? I have to look like I have to remove the polenum to get to it. Um, it can't be nothing internal because because if it was something out of balance inside the motor, it would worsen, but it don't. I don't know what it is. So if somebody could tell me what it is, then that'd be beautiful. And the one thing is to, you know, my mom's truck, I sprayed Pearl. Yeah, I sprayed the whole thing. Um, this, uh, yeah, really? So what I'm understanding is that this stuff's got to be based. And, um, I don't know. This has got to be based way up in here to cover that. So it just seems like that, um, this side, I'm going to base this, and this has already been painted. I don't, I might base this and then blend here and stop, even though I know this is a different color. I should go into the door. I don't know if I'm going to. This, if it was here, it would be fine, but you got this spot right here. So basically, I got to do a blend off here. 
because I don't really want to go in that door. Um, yeah, I should go back in the doors, but I want to take door handles off, take all that stuff off, take the fucking mirrors off, take the windows off. Why well, you just take the tires off too? Anyway, it was supposed to be uh, 80 degrees and sunny. Well, weather jockey, me, the program. So I'm gonna slick sand it today, and then after I let it dry for a couple days, I'm gonna overhaul the booth. Um, I'm gonna add some mirrors to it or something to get more light out of it. Electrical bill's high enough. Um, well, I don't know if you noticed this. Plow truck ranger. Um, the other plow truck's gone. Went to the boneyard. Um, yeah. I don't have much more to say. Hmm. Captain. CTS with a B6 on. It does. It does all right. <laughs> Who doesn't like burnouts? Come on, man, be for real. I don't know. No matter how clean 
I try to keep this boom. There, we got it all right there, but I think, I could be wrong, I'm almost positive that the chrome trim covers that. And that's where it was rust underneath the trim. Could be wrong. Went a little bit too far on my primer. I need to, uh, if I'm not going to break into this door, I need to cut this prime. Eesh. I need to get this primer back about right here. So then that'll give me some blend room. Not that I'm the blend master of the world. Hello! Everybody knows better than that. Ooh, I love flaws. Flaws are number one. Hello! Hopefully you can see this. That is how splotchy that door is. New message is received from Shut Your Face. Oh, I know I can see it on the A pillar. Right here, there we go. Best thing in the door has looked like. New messages received from Shut Your Face. <laughs> That's my man giving me advice. That whole door is. That, I ain't saying I can spray pearl, but mother. Mother something. <laughs> 